Hello everyone. Today is Saturday, March 5th, 2016. Today I'm going to fill one of my container with some of the soil from the compost bin, my warm bins. And I'm going to check up on, on one of my uh, compost bin here. So it has been over six months now, continuously dumping a lot of kitchen scrap into this bin here, this compost bin. And as you can see, I don't know if my camera can capture this, but as you can see, this starting to look like soil or even kind of like um, nice refined soil with a lot of worms in it. And sure enough, a lot of this is worm casting. Uh, you can't really tell because it's mixed within the compost, the kitchen scrap, the, the worms consume the kitchen scrap. And then, voila, you have one beautiful, uh, beautiful warm cast. And see, you can see here, there's a nice fat, really fat worms here. And of course, I got some of stuff. I got some of the nets here from the lawn, the grass, stuff like that. But that's not a big deal. I can always get rid of them. And you also find, typically, you also find in a compost bin, when it's moisture, good level of moisture, you find a lot of grubs. They're harmless. They actually help break down the kitchen scrap faster and they also produce poo okay so not a big deal those, those are harmless and look at this fat worms here look at that beautiful there's a lot of them uh, the temperature it's rising so this scrap here will be break down very soon now I can use this right now uh, like I say I'm filling in some of my the soil into this container and I'm adding some of this organic material into the container uh, to give it more nutrients. I have a lot of eggshells in here. Um, that's fine, even though they are not completely break down yet, they are fine. You can put them into the container, just break them apart, just break them apart, you know. And then again, soup. I'm gonna scoop some of this in here and mix them up. And I'll add some uh, peat moss to help the soil retain moisture and if I wanted to I will you know add some more uh, container soil perlite stuff like that for drainage and just make sure your container on the bottom has a lot of holes for drainage well drainage okay so let me go and continue to fill this container here and as you can see there's a lot of worms in here that's a really good sign okay also I want to check on my other um, compost bin here. This one, uh, it's more like a heat compost with a lot of organic material, a lot of leaves and grass, a little bit of ch ch uh, kitchen scrap. So I was filling this bin up and pretty much it was full. So I dumped some of the kitchen scrap in here too. And as you can see, let me use my other hand, other arms here, trying to dig up some of the stuff here. Uh, so several months ago, oh my God, it's really heavy. We'll give you a good workout. Okay, some of the stuff is slowly breaking down. As you can see here, the moisture level is really good. Uh, I, I add a lot of coffee grounds for my work that I receive in my work. I add a lot of them into here. And I can see, I can tell that it's not working. Uh, and look at this. All those right there. Look at this chunk right here. That chunk right there is pretty much Right here. There you go. Still see some leaves there, but eventually they'll become excellent, excellent soil amendments uh, once they turn into nice, rich compost. Okay, so let me go back to work and let me fill up some of the soil, maybe up to this line right here, because I want to leave some room. So eventually, some leave some room, so when the plant grows, I can add some more, so that I don't fill up all the way to the top. So you always want to fill your container up to maybe se leap several inches later on so you can add more compost and add more uh, other material to the container as the plant grow. All right, well, thank you. Let me get back to work and thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. So once the, the video, once you subscribe, the video will come to you directly to your email and we'll hope to see you soon. Well, thank you for watching and happy gardening.